Welcome back, sis. So today we're going to be going from this natural middle part sewing, literally this flowing, to this baby, these gorgeous curls. Okay, let's get into it. So here we're going to start by combing out our hair to make sure that it, the weave is free of any tangles. You want to do this first because this is really going to allow your um, curls to lay really well. The next thing you want to do is part your hair in the middle as I'm showing you here to divide your hair into two parts, one for each side. You want to put away one side like I'm showing you now. Get a little clip. Get something to hold that side while you work on your first side. So here I'm showing you the hair curlers I'm using. And it's a Con Air curler in a one inch. Up next is the heat protectant. I'm using Aussie Total Miracle. And I'm also using their Squinch Hairspray, which is a 24-hour curl lock. Here you're going to see me have bobby pins that I actually pin my, my curls up as I go. So watch, continue to watch this process so you can see that that allows me to really lock the curl in and get those tight nice curls without them falling this is like the holy grail to any curl technique you want to do you want to make sure that you bobby pin it and you hold those curls while they're hot honey okay so make sure you continue to watch the process so you can get this method that i use to curl my hair very very quickly that's simplistic and very easy especially for beginners so here i'm just taking a piece and i'm putting the curlers on we're going to continue to just move down the hair while still curling it up i'm also curling away from my face so this is what gives you curls that are going feathered to the back and really really look nicely so yeah this is the technique once I get to the other side of my head, you'll be also able to see how I do it up close and personal. So make sure you stay tuned and continue to watch for that. Here, I'm just moving on to the next section. And you see, I'm moving through this fairly quickly because this is really the easiest technique to be able to curl your hair when you're on a time crunch and really really get out the door so here i am on the next one and i basically section them all to like four or five different parts when i curl this way um just to make sure that i have enough individual curls so that it doesn't look like all one big curl in my head if that makes sense so yeah just continue to watch so you can get this method sis we love to have you here so if you like videos like this make sure that you become a part of the family tribe by subscribing to the channel if you like this video make sure you also hit that like button it helps support my channel and helps me know that you guys love content like this from me so keep it coming also hit me up in the comments i do answer all of my comments i would love to hear from you guys and sis, if you're in need of knowing how to do your own sewing, make sure you check out this video where I actually did this sewing on myself. And you can see the step-by-step -step playback of how to do it for yourself as well. One side down, now moving to the next. So here I am just parting my hair, same way, doing the same method. Um, and this way, I am going to literally curl away from my face the opposite way. So this is my right side, though it's on the left of the screen for you guys. Um, and I'm just, as you see here, I am just literally moving that curler away from my face and just continuing to curl. This is um, really the best picture I wanted you guys to see. So you can actually see the way that I'm doing this up front and very close and personal. Okay, so continue to watch so you can get this method and this quick time crunch curling method, okay?
And here we are almost done with the last part. And I am just literally curling it away from my face, y'all. I'm telling y'all, this is it. It, it is not hard. And you also want to curl. When you curl away from your face, you see how I have the hair at the bottom of the, the curler iron? That's the way you want to do it. Some people curl up the top and that gives you a total different looking curl, right? So I curl with the hair hanging at the bottom and then pulling it in the curler as I go. So you want to make sure that you do that as well um, because it, that is going to give you the look that I'm showing you. Literally, your curls depend on the way that you curl. So the, the technique I'm showing you is going to come out like the picture in the beginning of the video. And um, as long as you use this technique, you will get this effect every single time. As you see now, my whole head is pinned up, honey, curled all pinned up. This is really going to give that tight curl effect. And here are those gorgeous photos once I curled my hair and got myself together for this day. Okay, thank you guys for watching this far. I love you guys. See you in the next one. Bye.